yes, well, here we have quorum. Um, and no, we uh, need to celebrate. This is our first meeting. Yeah, this is very exciting. Wow. Over two and a half years. Yes. First meeting in person. <laughs> Pandemic. Oh my gosh. Do we have other people on on board uh, online or not? David Potter. So so he's with uh, you? Yes, yeah, not okay. an architect. He, no, he's not. Very good. Uh oh. The, re the recording has started. You cannot there call you someone an architect. I move we approve the uh, minutes of June 6th. Um, I would second that. What else is you cannot call him that. Aye. Ma'am. Well, are you in favor? Yes. Pam, are you in favor All of the favor minutes? of the minutes. Pam's on a We can take out a lawsuit against that Good. because you can't even use that term uh, to describe him. And uh, so now first and, order and of business. 15 uh, Lake Drive. This is Gail Dinicola, the uh, while well, let um, her counsel speak. How do you do? Hello. Yes, yeah, so for the record, this is Gail Nicole. She is the applicant. She owns actually two properties on this road. Oh, wow. But one of them, she is looking to, the one that's on the lake, she's looking to uh, demolish this rather unsightly uh, building. Kind of nice red house, but it's really in it's terrible need of just. Hey, okay. Lisa, how are you? Okay. So, come on. We don't want to get too close during COVID. No, well, we, yeah, can, yeah, we, we, saw, we saw the pictures yes. of that. Yeah, so let's so share them around. It has no historical it's value. Not, uh, um, and uh, It's not a particular merit. Yeah, no, question. no. And she's going to her designer. Uh, right. David Potter is the designer, will be uh, designing this house for her. And that's the plan. So it is more than uh, 50 years old. So we are before your board to ask for your permission to demolish that structure. Oh, thank you. Did um, you check any of the maps? Hey, is there anything that's come up we'll of interest up. with regard to this property? Yeah. No. Uh, it's not listed yeah. anywhere. Um, yeah, it's not listed. It is uh, correct that there is no historic <laughs> records relating to the yeah. property. Nobody important slept here. <laughs> if they did, there's no record of it. Okay. Yeah. That's no. that, uh, that website that you go to. Macros. You, yeah, Macros. Yeah, yeah. I've always been able to go there, put, put the address in, and then it comes up with the address and says there are no records. I don't know if they've changed their thing, but I couldn't get anything to print out saying there's no. The, the new, uh, yeah, it's definitely changed. Uh, so what I do now is I go to Macros Maps. So just Google that. It's just a different way to get into Macros. And then you can do different things by just putting in the whole town of Stockbridge. So there's a box you can type Stockbridge. Yeah, and it came up with a million. You click on Stockbridge, but then it gives you a map of the town. So then you just scroll up to wherever neighborhood you're looking at, and every single historic house is illuminated with a little box. And every historic district uh, or potential district is is also grayed in. And uh, so that's actually extremely user friendly. And just click on. Uh, Okay. If you see something that like is, oh my goodness, is that my house? You know, if you're close, you can click on it. To, oh, no, thank goodness. It's oh, yes. you know, the neighbors. It's not mine. Okay. Um, okay. And so, yes, I recommend entry via Google uh, Makers Maps nowadays. Okay. And um, and you had plans for um, what might go in there instead. OK, that's the back and that's the front. Yeah. So is this on more or less the same footprint as the original house or? It's within the it setbacks, like... but it's actually further from the lake. Okay. Because. But it looks a little bit bigger. Right, do you but have any, levels. do you have floor yeah. plans on, do. This, on the site? Yes, thank you very much. What? I'm sorry, yes. I came in late, okay. Yes. So we weren't sent these plans, no. Thank you very much, here we go. Okay. So this must be the existing, right? Right. No, this is the existing. I'm sorry. And this okay. Is the <laughs> yeah. And so that's the way. Yeah. So it's okay. further away. I see. And you have gotten conservation commission approval. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, she's gone through the gauntlet of the con count. Oh, okay. Here. You guys have to go to the planning board too, right? Yes. You haven't done yeah. that. July sep July fifth. Yeah. Is our hearing before the planning board? I'm good with it. Yeah, it's fine. I don't see anything. So yes, I would move that it's not a significant historic building under the bylaw. I'll second it. Yeah. Um, and uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. There you go. Thank you. 
Awesome. Thank you very much. They weren't. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like pick no. your battles, you know. No, no, no. Thank you. Good luck, Gail. All right. Thanks very much. Not Martha's Vineyard, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, so. Uh, we're talking about um, yeah, and I I went there today. Did oh, you find did. it? Yeah, I had no trouble finding it once you told me exactly where it was. <laughs> the painter guy tipped me off that you were at the wrong spot because I went there too. Well, but he called. He kept, said Sarah's the owner, so I was like, for sure, I'm in the right house. And when uh, I pulled, there's in, another goes, Sarah. That right was another. The, the, <laughs> and then the right part of that house looks exactly like it does. your house. It does. So, and I'm sitting there going, it looks exactly like it, and it's got a barn right next to it. And he was very legally chipping lead paint sure all was. over the ground, and I, I caught it in his attention. And, and he didn't care less. Did you say something, John? Of course I did. Oh, I didn't. I, just I basically didn't. said, I'm not going to say anything to the building inspector, but if he shows up here, you're going to get a lot of trouble. Well, then I show up on my bike an hour later, and he wasn't too cheerful to see me, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Another obnoxious person from the start. <laughs> so so here we are, pain existing, you know, doing this on other houses, and somebody's just, just right. And then this is the new. Well, thank you so much for the um, the tour. Um, that was extremely instructive. And just to let you know, I did go look. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I took pictures. I did I not. I went inside. Yeah. I hope you don't. Oh, know. that's totally. I went inside. The door was so yeah, yeah, It was I wide was open. There, uh, but there um, was an area I had to look through the windows at. I couldn't. I was afraid to walk over. over I picked the, up the tarp and looked underneath it. Yeah, the floor is still, okay. the floor is still <laughs> solid. They just took out a section to see what's going on. Because I was really nervous if I fell and got hurt in there. Then, then no one would know. No one know where I was. Right. And if you have the wrong cell phone carrier, your cell phone won't work either. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I've had that thought when I've been up in the ground. <laughs> Always tell someone where you're going. Yes. Yes. So here's another. This is the new. And did all these plans, were they these in the email that you sent us? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. And so does Pam have a full set? She's our expert. I, I have a set in my own. I mean, I, I know. Are you in our set? At this, yeah. In my spare time. <laughs> <laughs> I play one on TV. I'm really. Uh... Are you an architect? I write about architecture. Okay. Oh, really? Uh, yes, for Architectural Digest. Really? I to write for a team. Oh. oh, that's wonderful. Because we're talking about. I am a magazine person. Yes. Wow. Oh, you could do an article about this. I could. <laughs> <laughs> we have to see where it goes first. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's Over it's just a much. You really there's did. another layer of this project every time I turn around. It's it, it's it's big. I had yeah. I mean going to the correct house the second time. I was like, wow, she's really it's a lot of work. Unfortunately, it's been let to go to pieces at four house. I knew. I, yeah, I've been watching yeah. that house for years, and it's just. Now I was just at Chesterwood meeting with Donna Hassler and some mm -hmm. people up there um, because this is so close and. There was a relationship between Newton McIntosh and Daniel Chester French. And uh -huh. They had a really close friendship. And so we've just been talking about the house. And uh, they had some pictures there that they had taken just even like four years ago. And oh, it was wow. remarkable to see just how quickly the rot takes over. Huh. Um. I tried Googling Newton Macintosh and all you get is Apple computer stuff. I tried it too, and you're right. <laughs> it's terrible. And there's yeah. nothing on the MapRitz website other than that little I know, there's yes. so little on the house. I feel like there's a lot more that's yep. here. I, think that's gonna I wonder if they have something in the historical room at the library. I you have been that? to the library. Yes. They put me in touch with uh, the person who does the maps work. Mm -hmm. um, and so he's unable to help date anything pre what's in macros which is the eyebrow colonial mm. part well i have an 1855 map hanging this on my one. wall mm -hmm. at my house and you i do. looked it up and it's on there yeah it's it goes all the way back to 1820 yeah um so it's at least that old and they think older and that's the um, eyebrow part you think is 1820 uh, the, the eyebrow and the the georgian probably goes to them too um or around that the map spot that i have 
is pretty, I mean, the spots on the map that I have, and you've probably seen this, 1855 map of, of Berkshire County. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the whole county. Well, it's got, okay. yeah. And, and I, um, the map spots are pretty true to size. Okay. You, look at, you know what else you might, I wonder if you can find them on the Sanborn maps up at the historic room up there. Yeah, Those you might want to go to an even older. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then you'll find out the exact year. Where is that? It's at the Berkshire Athenaeum. There's a historic okay. room up there, and the if, you ask, okay. if you ask, if you ask on the like the historic librarians, okay. you know everything. Okay. Everywhere it is, and right. the sandbar maps are hugely helpful. Okay. Okay. That's really good to know. Well, um, and I got a hold of David Babcock. Oh, yeah. oh he really? He Thank you. To look at the barn at five after this meeting. Oh, well, you're lucky he answered the, your call. I've, been, I've called him twice this week and have gotten no he call. Oh, so maybe that's barn better barn to try. Person? Uh, he's a post and beam person. Post -beam. Do you know yeah, Dave? So, no, I don't. Dave, Dave is a genius. He's my favorite go-to guy for right. this type of project is and it's a generational family? thing this is what his dad did too right 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 um, and he know he's he just he's knows. very gentle he's too he's a really wonder uh, i he's really who i would trust more than anybody yeah so um he's gonna come place. and take yeah. a look i tried twice. i did i mean when i looked at his website i realized he was one of the people that i reached out to early on oh, to see and he didn't get you no, I think he was so far booked that he yeah. said, you know, I, I, I there's no way I could get to this even this year. Yeah. But he'll come and take a look and hopefully if he thinks it's savable, then hopefully he can coach. He'll be interested um, and, 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 and I, he might be able to uh, give you some advice about your barn. But the, it, the barn that's, is, that's but, yeah, it's mainly the barn and then the middle section, like how to how to dismantle the middle section in a careful way to save the beams and if there's a way to do it you know just like take yeah the those beams out of are all those those posts and beams are all hand hewn yes and i actually grabbed a, some of the uh, mortar that was laying around on the ground you i'll did? do a mortar analysis on oh, it for you see, like, it like for the age or for the just to tell you what what, what, what it, it is, is. Okay. Uh, it requires going to shaker village and using the lab up there right. but I, right. I know it's limestone it, so yeah, that, that would it make predates sense. Uh, Portland cement, mm -hmm. right? So that came right. around 1900. Right. So, that um, makes sense, but yeah. I, all you have to do is throw some vinegar on it. And that'll show you that because it dissolves it. Uh, dissolves the money. She's a historian. So okay. You're getting the real letter. I'm getting. I'm, I'm the science person. Okay. <laughs> so, so science and I writer. grabbed some nails that I found laying around too and tried to date those, but quite frankly, they were just regular old nails nails just yeah, and I found out of an area they were like stuck in underneath an area that um one of those side posts on the Georgian right. part I thought for sure I got his maybe they didn't use a lot of nails uh how old do you think doing it the classic, what'd you say like, well yeah maybe they didn't just, use many nails because they were doing got the pegs in right 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 so I think that the nails were actually the holding the siding on see, the flooring you'd see nails in yeah. there weren't any I couldn't find I didn't see any wow but that's not old flooring. Anyway. So yeah. Right. The flooring's been replaced. Yeah, it's new way. flooring. Yeah. Okay. You've got tons of king's boards. Right. The big wide ones. Yeah. All they those are best. staying. And then we're gonna take the when the lofts come down that will patch up in that the eyebrow. And so does that say all that, that here what you're gonna do if we say yes. you can take it down, what are the plans? For the materials, so the, the beams are these six are for sure, and then some of the cross beams would be from the piece that we would be taking down. We would try to piece this together and then use it in other, like any other of these areas where we. Oh, can so you're actually planning them. to recycle that. Stuff. Yes. And, and even Absolutely. recycle into what into you're building. What, it, what it's what cool. it, what's okay. being yeah. built there. And I didn't actually go upstairs here. I just I peeked didn't. up these stairs. So the existing stairs. There is a U shaped yeah, and it's a really this, old staircase. But it like parts of it are dry rotted, like you can hear it when you step hard. Go up we went up there. It the whole thing is the whole thing is um sagging too. So it's it's been pulling. I think part of the reason this was built is to shore this up because you could see where it was pulling. And this like is where I got the nails over in here. In this corner. Yeah, but yeah. it was like I said, it's so just laying okay. on the ground. So it's a lot more than this section right here. You're doing this is being gutted also is from 
Um, this isn't being, I mean, they've taken down the plaster because the plaster right. was, right. Right. So it, had, yeah. like, it had like diagonal cracks through it. It just, I would love to save the plaster. I love the plaster. Like I, I prefer it that. Was it horse hair? It was old plaster. And that's what's up here on the top of this, the okay. upstairs. And that, all that plaster is staying. Most of this downstairs that was gutted was drywall. And this was all, this is all completely rotted out, which you can see like the framing has to be redone in here um there was some you know mold and things here this was um beadboard which they've saved we're gonna try and like piece it back together and use it as much as we can um the the plaster up here this is where like the upstairs room it was just like these from one side to the other horizontal cracks through the plaster where you can see that's just this, shifting this shift whole stuff. thing is shifted yeah and the stairwell it's it's kind of sinking in the middle like where it like everything's kind of coming down toward it and it was pulling this side of the house and i don't know if this affected that and building this is what caused some of that to happen it's hard to understand you know what what really like triggered some of these like big shifts in the foundation and what's going on. And then on. is this and a full basement? Uh, Doug, I didn't go under there, uh, down no, there, but is there it's a crawl space? The that is a crawl I saw and a staircase there, going down. The other reason why we had to pick this up is because oh. the bathroom that was sitting here, so this bathroom here all that floor was caved in so the tub was just like sinking down through the floor so it's just none of it's properly supported. And and I'm sorry, I had it backwards. This has a base. I saw basement stairs down. So yes. is there a basement this down is the, there? This is the stair that's okay. existing. I was like you, I didn't go into the scary parts alone. Yeah. <laughs> I just I, I do have a question. Yes. Uh, the architectural firm, I, I did go on and look at the work. I did not see any historical work. Is there somebody on their staff? They do it? have people on staff. So they've done, they they did my something? house okay. um, in Brookline, which is an arts and crafts. It's a much newer, I mean, it's brand new compared right, to this. But it's like 19. I guess my 11. question is, you're talking to Dave, but will there be other people? I, so so Elizabeth specific. Roberts, who is an architect in New York City. Um, is really good. She's one of my dear friends, right. and she's sort of my guardian. Agent. I look at she her work. She can't do. She can't do this project because right. she has um, a two or three year lead sure. time. Right. But um, she and her like chief of staff, basically right. um, Josh Luca, who has been with her for over a decade. She right. helped me with my house in New York City, and right. we've known her forever. Right. Um, so they met with me in Boston. They're working on a house in Boston right now, um, and they're here to kind of help me figure Great. out Thank like you. that's all you know what do we do with this what do we do with this like how do i solve this issue i'm choosing between these three things what do you think right so they're gonna like they're weighing in sure. but can't take on the level of no because of the, more the consultant piece right of right it. no she's more my like historian and they're doing i mean they're doing a house that's this age in connecticut right now that they've had to sure. rebuild the interior wall and then rebuild the exterior wall <laughs> just like levels of projects sure. that at this point i mean when when i we've known um elizabeth and her husband since before they were married like before she even did her Clinton Hill house when they were living in a West Village, like walk up loft yeah. where her business and their bedroom were like all one space. <laughs> so she's she's wonderful and she's worked with, I mean, I think she worked at some point on a historic commission mm -hmm. before no, she no, even this, thank you. struck out on her own. So she's, she's helping, but like sort of from afar and just from a perspective of here's my research, this is what I think we should do right. and here's what we've saved, like where should we put it? And the builder you're using, the same? Um, he has done, he, he's um, a black, uh, trans man from Springfield mm -hmm. and um, is has done some historic houses in Northern Connecticut. So he's done some like 16, 1700s um, houses in uh, Northern Connecticut mm -hmm. and um, has worked on structures, you know, around, around this age. Great. What's his name? Uh, Dakota Smith. So it's good to know. Well, so now we, we have a, a formal application. Yes. Right. Okay. So uh, so I guess our decision is, you know, first of all, 
limit. This is an historic building, and, uh, uh, and I think that's 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 that's, uh, that's not a question. Um, uh, but uh, I don't know if we need to take a vote. I think we actually we found that at the last meeting. I put that in the yeah. Notes. Okay, good. And then um, and then the question is whether the uh, proposed um, alterations are um, you know you know represent a significant a significant alteration. I mean, you know, I, I have to say, um, you know, the interesting thing is that that center section of the house to me seems like it's actually the oldest part. Mm -hmm. I was going to say the same thing. I, don't know. I, I have my, a theory my, about that. And Sarah, I, well, I, I think that, I think that was like a settler's cottage because it's so close to that spring. Yeah, I think that it was. I, I was thinking about, I've been thinking about this for days now. I think that it was probably pre that barn that's there. That's, mm -hmm. I think it was a barn in and of itself to the Georgian part. To the yeah. Georgian, okay. And I think that probably- Those were they, the first two. Yeah, okay. and that, and if you go, my, my immediate thought is um, at the Hancock Shaker Village, not on the main campus, but on the left-hand side of the road as you're heading towards Pittsburgh. Right is an old um, barn, right? Um, it's timber framed okay. and English style. And right. it's the same thing. It has a main entry with two lofts and two lower. Right. So, and then the great big uh, beams that go across and the big posts, and it's the same exact footprint layout and um, plan, plan. And I wonder if whoever built had that one, Georgian built that house one. had their little barn attached right to it, even though I see that there's a fireplace in there. Right. There's a fight. There's, but I don't know if that maybe they kept that there. I just that was my first. And there's a giant king's board as you come in the back door. If you come in from here, where, let me get my glasses on. That always helps. So this is the where's the existing on here. This is I, we don't. This is uh, do we, have, I, we I do have existing. That's all right. This is I fine. Didn't, I didn't print it out. If you come in. So this if is you the come street in this side. Way. Yeah. Okay. So this is the this is a Georgian, Georgian. right? Mm -hmm. And this is the street side here, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you come in this way, and you look right here on the second story, mm -hmm. that right. whole big piece is one giant king's board. Wow. Did you oh, see that? The, the, um, I actually took a picture. Is that in the little lofted area? It's the second story. Yeah. The second yeah, 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 floor. Yeah, yeah. I took. A oh, I did of see that. I did see um, that. The giant yes. what? I definitely saw that. See this? Yeah, I saw that. What's the term? King's yes. board. Yes. Yeah, because the that. king had the tree, oh, the largest wow. trees marked. It's so funny with because a K, I took a picture of that. And also. only <laughs> people who were associated with the king, you know this, right? Maybe. Could cut these trees and use these boards in their buildings. Right. So the largest boards, the king's boards, were cut and used in. The old, some of the oldest buildings because there aren't any more existing trees like that size. Yeah. yeah. So you have in oh, yeah. this particular the, section also all these roof right. pieces are king's boards, king's board, right. king's board, king's board. Right. So and some in the barn on the exterior of the big barn. Right. Up here, these are all king's boards. Right. Or somewhere close to it. Right. The upper. But, so they tend to be like this wide. Right. Wow. So if you can say enormous. those. Yes. You are golden. Yes. With me. <laughs> Probably with a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that that uh, guy that's going to look at your bar and show him those. And, 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 and the other thing things. that I noticed is the big, um, the big um, beams that go across in this centerpiece right. are all hand hewn with an yes. Yes. Oh, yes. as yes. opposed there, I to took pictures of them. Yeah. Right. yeah. I actually yeah. took pictures of that too. Yeah. So I, mean, I actually one, think that's one, the oldest section or close to right. the Georgian so, section. So this portion is like these posts and beams and this one are the ones going this way are the really old ones going this way. Yeah. That's what I um, but they're rounded. The ones in the ceiling are rounded. They're those not, are, yeah, those are, and those are, but yeah, the, those but are these all are logs. Real. These are the, these are the big the squared massive. off hand. Okay. Pieces. Okay. They start here. There are two, there are two posts here that are is this more square. This the is where the locks the are. Is? Yes. The hole in the floor is here. Okay. To check so this is the area. That's a king's board at the second floor. And then you have two lofts here. Yes. 
Okay, and then right. those those themes those went themes across. Are right, really this themes. was the footprint of what, well, I can't. This, I think this is one structure, and this is a different structure, and so this might have been the barn for this, and then this was sort of tacked on to connect them. Right, so that you know you didn't have to get cold when you went out to take care of your animals. Right, right. Because the structure of this is a little different. My mother's house is set up, is set up the same way, and in her case, this was a milk parlor. Uh, but I mean, it's a different style house, completely right, different era. Right. But that's what that. I mean, we that bought it. We bought it wanting to save all of that. It's just when they look at what's underneath of it, like you the have walls just, like, are this rotted. Much space. The walls are rotted. The no, ceiling. You have to go is, underneath. The roof is caving. Know, you have to go underneath the next. Well, the fact and, that you're talking to, um, yeah. you know, um, some, you know, you got the right team, right? Preservation, and that's what we want to hear. Uh, yeah. Uh, in terms of like what, what, how to how to how to, how to reuse some of these elements. Um, right. If you um, can save those, and you're going to have yeah. Because yeah. I mean, the house is really basically. I mean, it's just it's a disaster. It's a mess. Yes. It's really sad. Oh, it is. I mean, no offense. It's just so it's sad that it was allowed to. I know, it was amazing. I, I couldn't believe it. It's really sad. I mean, it's unlivable. Yeah. And I think people were living in it not like, that long ago, two or three years ago. Yeah. I know with the holes that I'm sure rodents were like, like it so, just. I mean, my house didn't look like that, and I got a mouse problem. I can't even imagine what it's like to live in that. Yeah. I mean, it was I don't even know if they totally permeable. Like, I think. Water. Well, as I've said, well, I think that's I've why there were before, five wood stoves. Come over, come over, visit my house. <laughs> I, think <you're> gonna, <laughs> I think they were burning coal. I think they were burning coal in some of those stoves to keep the house warm enough for it to be livable in the winter. I mean, that's the, there's like black soot in places. Okay, so where do we go from here? Um, so, well, um, <laughs> we've, determined, we've determined that this is a uh, significant historic building. Um, and the question is whether the uh, proposed um, whether the pro proposed uh, uh, adjustments are 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 are, are, are you know going to compromise its value. Um, and also, I would she adding on more than five hundred square feet to it. Also, well, in terms yeah. Of so yeah, it is. Still I mean, it is. So, more so than giving my giving my lawyer take on it. So, <laughs> and I've actually I've noticed that in the um, Stockbridge updates newsletter, I think they sometimes get a little confused. So, the bylaw language says substantial alteration. That's what's not allowed to be done to a significant historic building, but it's not substantial in terms of size or square footage or anything like that. It's there's very broad language that helps you decide what substantial means. And it basically means uh, is the alteration more or less preserving the character of the historic building that's there. Mm -hmm. um, and so in my view, um, yeah, I, I, as we've discussed, you know, unfortunately, the center section is in the worst possible condition. Um, the owners are looking to save the eyebrow colonial and the uh, Georgian wings at either end, which are also very, I think, significant historically. And they're going to do their best to save the parts of the middle part and the, and the barn. Uh, and hopefully the barn that remains to be seen. Um, I mean, it is it's barn, listing a little, but it's <laughs> it's a job. It's you know, it is somewhat straight on the side that isn't collapsed. So, yeah, so we're, we're not ruling on the barn today. Including the barn in this property. We're not yeah. including the barn in this. So this is just for the house. So if, yeah. if you want to do same barn, you need to come back, sir. Um, so I would move that it's not a substantial alteration as defined in the bylaw. Yeah. No, this is this is definitely uh, you know in keeping with the historic character of the. Uh, property that was the and, word I was going to use. In keeping. And and um, and, and uh, you know I mean obviously uh, I think you. Uh, I don't. What? I don't. I think you can call it not a substantial. I was going to say, I, I okay. think it the is. The thing I don't agree with you, I, I agree what's going on, but not well, that because, way. Because there's. It's more than 5,000. Well, I love substantial. Substantial, substantial, substantial has a specific <laughs> definition in the bylaws. It's just like a lawyer thing. Right. So it's listed and as. as from the alteration, uh, you know, it's just the word that was chosen by the lawyers was substantial. But. Okay. Uh, but it defines substantial, essentially meaning, I mean, you, you're right to use the term in keeping. Um, a, an alteration that is in keeping with this significant historic building is okay, and an alteration that's not in keeping is not okay. 
and, and just the uh, the operative word is substantial, but, but it's not the, it's not a yeah, layman's it's, it's about whether it's about but whether it's exactly it's about whether it's, so that's where I'm driving with the language is like but it's whether it compromises the historic value of the yeah the historic character I was saying not because value is like a monetary thing. Um, well, I think all this trying to keep, 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 I like the architecture, keeping the beams and reusing <laughs> them and so forth. I think that's an excellent thing that I would say that again with the keeping with the beams and with the incorporate, incorporating them in the center. Thank you. Um, you know, because it really does need this is different to be stabilized. And this is to have no, 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 was at. brought up so that you can have a crawl space underneath because right now it's sitting right on the dirt. Oh, it's, it's, it's you know, so, yeah. so I've got that's uh, I you know, mean, sort of if we kept it this direction because of the roof lines, we can't go like you can't do a second, you can't story. Do a second story, yeah, yeah. What I was that saying if, if it's in keeping, it's not the same or similar. So I have the bylaw language now, if I could read it. Um, so the question is, does the proposed alteration materially compromise the historic or architectural significance of the significant historic building, considering such factors as the extent to which the original architectural or historic features of the building will be preserved or enhanced, comma, relation between those features and the design of any new construction and the sensitivity to context, the compatibility and the scale of the proposed alteration. So I think that's a long way of saying. Yeah. I think that it not yeah. fits all those the, criteria. Yeah. Yes. We're, 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 we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah. 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 I, no, I think I agree. We, gotta, we just got to get our wording right. <laughs> <laughs> I personally, architecturally, I think it's wonderful. It makes these two really kind of stand out by changing. I don't know. You kind of And actually, if you were down. to go along through what the uh, National Register right. asks people would, to do is not would, to not mimic good. exactly what's there, but to if you're going to add something add to something make it significantly different. different, even modern, which I don't want you to do. Right. Pretend you didn't hear that word. That always freaks me out. When but when they say do that, that, that's that's totally that right. is in their guidelines, is to not mimic what's there, but to, so if you're going to add, so make yeah. it. So that they stand apart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're good. We yeah, and I just looked up the square footage. The, Zillow, the current house on Zillow, anyway, is just under three thousand. So I don't think it That's goes over five. No, 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 no. She, it's not the five thousand word. I think she meant to say five hundred square feet. Oh, oh what's the five hundred square feet? Yeah, that's Got where it. we yeah. come that's in right. when you're gonna okay. touch five hundred. Right. So are we? Five thousand square feet. Are we proposing that this um, alteration is not? A significant. Yeah, so I, I think, did I make a motion? If not, yes. I'll make a motion now that it's not a significant alteration as defined in the right. bylaw, which is very specific in terms of what that means. Uh, Second. I just read. That. You got Second. that, Georgia. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. All right. Thank you. Um, Super good. Anyway, uh, really listen, good. We're, we're. Good luck. We're excited yes. that you're yeah, taking this one on. Yeah. Are you going to live here, live here once it's done? On and oh. meet your contract. Please, yes. Yeah. 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 I, I, I am fascinated. Would love <laughs> any impact on that. Yeah, it's right around that. I mean, I work in stock. For, for, for right. rentals, for it's weddings right. and stuff. So, so, you know. She is? Yeah. Oh, yes, that's one of the reasons why I'm talking to Chesterwood, because they would love to have a place to send families there. You know, they have 15 weddings this year. Oh, you're going to use it as a, as a rental, you mean? It when will rent time? occasionally when we're not there. I don't I don't want to have a house that just sits empty, that's yeah. not used. And um, I also think like with the land restoration and just the upkeep of the house, I want to make sure there are resources there to really take care of it. So that's the thought is rent it a bit um, for things like the weddings at Chesterwood, which would give families a place to stay just down the road when they're having their events there. Um, and then fund, you know, the gardens and the, all the things that have to be done. Well, to good luck getting to that point, you know. Yes. So you live in Boston, in Brooklyn? In Brooklyn, yeah. Right on the Boston border, like next to BU. Cool. Great. Well, this is good, Sarah. We applaud. Let me buy this. 
Because my husband's family, we have come out here for years. It is impossible to find a place to rent for 12 people for three siblings and their spouses and kids wow. and my in-laws. It is impossible. So you in charge of the project for all these different people? Well, <laughs> a family trust bought the house, uh -huh. but it's our portion of the family trust. Right. So the family will benefit, but eventually it to us. No, I just meant in terms of like different ideas. Oh, and no, all. they're they're all like just you take care of it. Boy, you're, you're, <laughs> really, oh, you're, you're very lucky. lucky. You're very if lucky. Out, if it comes out great, I'll take credit. And yes. it, you'll get the blame. Right. So is this a full time job writing for Architectural Digest? Uh, it's a part time thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just starting to write again. I mean, this also is uh, gives me a way to begin to write again and kind of think in new directions because I have been home with my kids for years because they have had various kind of challenges and issues that children. needed like a mom <laughs> around to um, help with. Uh, so I'm just starting to write again after years of kind of okay. doing some consulting work for a mill in Connecticut and um, a few other things. I mean, I consulted at Boston Magazine when I first came up uh, for about maybe a year. Um, but now I'm writing again. Yes. So, sir, the procedure is I will do a memo to the building inspector. I'll be citing these plans. You don't mind if I keep this? Oh, yeah. Do you need to? Do um, I have a, I think I have a, you brought two full sets, right? So, yes. So I think I have a full set and you're entitled to keep okay. the other one. This and has like more than one. I wonder what might be right there. Yeah, I do, right. I do want, I want to cite the different numbers. Although I can also just look online. Let's just look. I mean, you know, I mean, there's, 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 there's some interesting uh, background with that happens here. I, uh, I reached out to the family, the Swan family. Oh, you so did? I was warned off. <laughs> oh, why? Don't you think it's weird that we've had two Swan houses in a row? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's like exactly karma. What, it's what oh, it I is. didn't realize it. Uh, sorry. Well, Nick's, that, um, Nick's one. I know the Nick's one. But then, and this was Alexander. This is Alex, this Alex's is his wife. It was her yeah. mom now would make so much yeah, sense why it's yeah. in that condition. Oh, yeah. no. Just, yeah, like, exactly. They were just land. You know, they owned a ridiculous amount of property and didn't take care of it. Right. No, anything. not very good about that. No, nothing. Right. It just, you know, it, it's, it's like one of these multi generational Stockbridge families that. Uh, right. Wow. Of interest. Yeah. <laughs> Persons well, of interest. And both historic homes, too. Yeah. yeah. They're amazing. Thank you so much. I'd like, I can't yeah. wait to see it. Well, I'll invite yeah. you back yeah. for get there. <laughs> yeah. Let us know what they say about the barn. I'm just yes. curious. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If, you to, if you want to alter it, you should come back. And if you want to demo it, like I said, then you should probably Maybe pick it up with to to us. Right? Yeah, or, or talk to us. Yeah, or talk to Ned. Yeah. So when you meet Dave today, tell him that Pam has called me twice. Okay, <laughs> I will. I will nudge him in your direction. Help well, the Levy job. He knows okay. all about it. <laughs> well, I, I will email him separately. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank well, you. Got that to Thank me you. over email. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, any other business? Uh, not his phone number anymore. <laughs> uh, hearing. I didn't even get to read the email you sent around because unfortunately. I apologize. It's for setting nice us so late. Day and yeah. I'm not looking at emails. Yeah, I should have. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Time, so what Time flew too by. Too many things outside to do. Right. <laughs> I make a motion to adjourn. There you go. All right. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. Okay, great.